the birth of 21 to 28 okay so okay it's nine only dev incarnation in this section section uh, third of this chapter from 21 to 28 this shloka uh, lord ramana will enter in the aditi's womb and then brahma ji will understand the uh, that the lord has appeared so then he will uh, offer prayers to lord प्रभो उपाधावत्पति भक्त पर्यावत्चा श्री सुखद स्वामी After speaking in this way, the supreme personality of God disappeared from that very spot. Aditi, having received the extremely valuable benediction that the Lord would appear as her son, extremely valuable. Okay. Considered herself very successful and with great devotion, she approached him. So this is extra benefit. She did not ask this much actually, no, but because uh, Krishna giving. Uh, somebody, some benediction, protecting from some problem like the Jendra case, or many many other things can happen. Okay, but Krishna coming as son to somebody, or brother, or these are like very high level things. Okay, so that is why this is extremely valuable benediction Krishna got. Okay, so. That's why Aditi was so happy, and Aditi approached her because Krishna said, "If you consider that now I am there with the within your husband, and you should worship your husband." Okay. So she was so happy, and with great ecstasy, with great devotion, she approached her. Savai samadhi yogi na kashya pastad. बुद्धियत प्रविष्टम आत्मनि हरेर अम्सम अवित एक छना सहा कश्यपनि वही इंडीड समाधि योगी न वही निश्चित मेडिटेशन कश्यपा कश्यपनि तत् दैट अबुद्धियत कुड अंडरस्टैंड प्रविष्टम एंटर्ड आत्मनि विदेन हिमसेल्फ हरे और द सुप्रीम गॉड अम्सम ए प्लानिंग पोषण ही इंडीड अवित तत् एक छना बुद्ध विजन इस नेवर मिस Being situated in a meditational trance, Kashyapuni, whose vision is never mistaken, could see that a plenary portion of the supreme personality of Godhead had entered within him. That he could see. So Adityam Viryam Adat Tapasa Chira Samvritam Sama Hetmana Radhan Daruni Agni Yathani La Sa Kashyap Adityam. Just one minute. In Dalmi, as in firewood, Agni fire, Yatha as Anita wind. Okay. Chira Samvritam means restrained for long, long years. Tapsa Vaikasha. 
working as the wind promotes friction between two pieces of wood and thus gives rise to fire when there is a strong wind in the jungle the two woods will um, have friction and there will be fire kashyap muni who is a transcendental position was fully absorbed in the sukti kasanti project transferred his potency into the womb of aditi a forest fire begins when two pieces of wood rub against one another being agitated by the wind actually however fire belongs neither to the wood nor to the wind it is always different from wood similarly here it is to be understood that the union of kashyap muni and aditi was not like the sexual intercourse of ordinary human beings this has to be very clear here okay the supreme personality of godhead has nothing to do with the human secretions of sexual intercourse he is always completely aloof from such material combination so one should not think like that because krishna once he can appear like that he appeared in the heart of kashyapa and then from heart he got and in the womb of aditi so it's nothing like normal uh, like material way of uh, humans uh, uh, understanding okay it is transcendental thing similarly krishna appeared in the heart of vasudev and then transferred himself in the heart of devi and from there in the womb of dev okay so it's like that somebody asked this question that uh kansa was fool or what because he knew eighth son uh, of devaki and vasudev will kill kamsa then why he kept both of them in the same cell so this is the kalyuga's brain low class <laughs> fool mentality they cannot understand the transcendental activities of krishna that's why krishna said nobody can understand how now then now and they gyan mark so many janma it will take and if you understand janma karam cha me dityam yo me vetti tatvata if you understand the tatva in fact the reality of janma and karma of me krishna if you understand that what is the tatva it is like it's not like similarly one man and one woman and they gave birth to one child no it's not like that you have to understand in reality if you understand that tatva ah tatva dem punajam netna vetvar you will never come uh, in this material world again takwa deham after leaving the body you will come to my abode that's it clear so we have to understand that okay so krishna's plan krishna understanding it's not like that krishna uh, in order to appear he has to go through the uh, material processes then what is god he is what kind of god he just transcendental he does not depend on this uh, like prabhupada is writing the human secretion of sexual intercourse okay krishna is always completely aloof from such material combination okay even to kill hiranyakashipu just came out from a pillar god okay in order to protect parichit maharaj in the womb of uttara he just appeared at the end protected He is transcendental. That we have to understand. He is divyam, jnana karma chame. His activities, his birth, his name, his fame, his glory, his past life, his devotees, all are divyam, transcendental. From material intelligence, from material understanding, we cannot understand Krishna. That's why we have to approach a bona fide spiritual master, and he will give that enlightenment. within our art utte chanti te gyanam gyani nas tattva darshina he will enlighten within our heart oh this is like you see lila you see krishna's past time you see krishna too he will reveal so the subject matter of shrimad bhagavatam and bhagavad gita is not the matter of research it is the matter of living krishna so if mercy of guru is there even an illiterate person can know the secrets of shrimad bhagavatam and bhagavad gita even though he don't know to read the literature the letters next sense 
The Lord says in Bhagavad Gita, Sammoham Sarva Bhuteshu. I am equal toward all living entities, nonetheless, to protect the devotees and kill the demons who were a disturbing element. The Lord entered the womb of Aditya. Therefore, this is a transcendental pastime of the Lord. Okay. He came by his own to protect me. This should not be misunderstood. This is a transcendental thing. One should not think that the Lord becomes the son of Aditi the way an ordinary child is born because of sexual intercourse between man and woman. It's not that way. It is transcendental. Lord does not come like that. You should never think that. Here it may also be a... Now, how it happens? It can happen because he's God. For our understanding, it may not be able to happen because we are limited, conditioned. Okay, here it may also be appropriate to explain it. That's what the problem of Hiranyakashtabu. He was thinking how God can come from pillar. He doubted. And God cleared his doubt and cleared himself up. So if anybody has doubt, make sure. <laughs> Otherwise, you see, Hiranyakashipu had a doubt. Krishna came, cleared the doubt, cleared Hiranyakashipu's problem. Okay? <laughs> Neither doubt is there or uh, doubt holder also is not there. Both are finished. Okay? All the doubts are problem. Anybody further has any doubt? No. <laughs> Okay, anytime if we have any doubt, remember Lord Nursing Dev. He clears not only doubt, he clears the doubt wall also. So be careful. <laughs> okay, so here it may also be appropriate to explain in these days of controversy the origin of life. The life force of the living entity, the soul, is different from the ovum and the semen of the human being. This has to be clear here. It's like quite scientific thing. Oh, so the life, the living entity is different from the ovum and semen of the human being. Although the conditioned soul has nothing to do with the reproductive cells of men and women, he is placed into the proper situation because of his birth, karmana, daivit, nitrena. This whole science, how it works, sir. How the soul is transferred from the father to the mother womb and how the whole science works, it is all explained in the 3rd canto, 31st or 30th chapter, 31st I think. Okay, in the last section. Everything is explained there in great detail. There it is very clearly says that soul takes uh, through the semen it goes. It is not the semen and ovum which it makes life. If people say that life comes from matter. Lives come from life. That's why Prabhupada gave a special book only. Life comes from life. Okay. So, although the conditioned soul has nothing to do with this reproductive cells of men and women, he is placed into the problem because of his work. Karamana, the way his activities, his karma is there. Accordingly, he will be sent to that particular womb of the mother. Life is not, however, product of two secretions, but is independent of all material elements. That's why father and mother, they are the same instrument. Because life was already there. Somebody is thinking, I gave birth. No, no, life is already, nobody can be, life is there. Jiva, soul is sanatan. Okay, so that's why uh, we have to think, this is my son. This is my daughter. How old is your daughter? Five years. Before five years, where she was? I don't know. She was already existing somewhere else. Maybe somebody else's son, daughter, some animal body. Who knows? Devta body. Who knows? Right? So, this is all very high level thing. This is, uh, has to be understood like this. As fully described in Bhagavad Gita, the living entity is not subject to any material reactions. He can neither be burnt by fire, cut by sharp weapons, washed by water, nor dried by the air. Nainam chintanti sastrani, nainam dhati prapta, nasoshiti, japo nasoshiti, marda. He is completely different from the physical elements, but by a superior arrangement, soul is completely different from the physical elements. 
but by a superior arrangement karna dai ne prerna he is put into these material elements okay these, these are material elements they are not main main thing is soul okay he is always aloof from material contact asango hi ayam pusa but because he is placed in a material condition he suffers the reaction of the material condition why he suffers because he is placed in material condition purushah prakriti stohi bhute prokte gyan gunan karanam guna sangasya sad asad yogi bhavati the living entity in material nature thus follows the ways of life and the three modes of nature this is due to his association with that material nature thus he meets the good and evil among various species although the living entity is aloof from the material elements he is put into material condition and thus he must suffer the reaction of material activities okay aditir nishtitam garbham bhagavantam sanatanam hiranya garbho vidyaya samite kune namavi adite into the womb of aditi nishtitam being established garbham pregnancy bhagavantam and the supreme personality of god sanatanam who is eternal hiranya garbha lord brahma vidyaya knowing this samite of word prayers kuriya namavi with transcendental names so when lord brahma okay thank you so when lord brahma understood that the supreme personality god was now within the womb of aditi he began to offer prayers to the lord by reciting transcendental names the supreme personality god exists everywhere andantarasta parama chayantaras therefore when one chants his transcendental names hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare the supreme personality god it is automatically pleased by such sankirtan it is not that the supreme personality of god it is absent he is present there when we chant hare krishna krishna is present there and when a devotee utters the transcendental name it is not a material sound it's transcendental sound therefore the supreme personality of god it is naturally pleasing a devotee knows that the lord is present everywhere and that one can please him simply by chanting his holy name so that is why it is said uh, that uh, when we chant hari krishna we should have this idea that krishna is hearing our chant so now i think the way we are chanting whether krishna will be happy to hear he is seeing how we are chanting whether he will be happy so that way we have to improve our chanting that krishna is hearing right krishna is hearing or you can chant in some way that some guest as soon as you start chanting krishna knocks at your door and he enters and then he is there at your guest so how you will uh, how will you um, reciprocate with your guest how you will receive so if, when guest comes people host will sit with the guest all the time and give him all the attention so guest means you should give all the attention to guest so krishna has come to you as soon as you start chanting so full attention you should give to krishna okay chalo so here this uh, now next next section uh, is the last one 25 to 28 three shloka brahma is glorifying the supreme lord in aditi's room okay 25 to 28 sri brahma vacha jay urugaya bhagavan guru brahma namostute namam brahma devaya sri gunaya namo namo sri brahma vacha lord brahma offered prayers jaya all glory is urugaya and to the lord who is constantly glorified bhagavan o oh my lord guru brahma who is activity that very glorious nama nama astute i offer my respectful obeisances and to you nama my respectful obeisances brahmanya devaya and to the lord of the transcendental sri gunaya the control of the three modes of nature nama nama i offer my respectful obeisances and to you again and again lord brahma said o supreme personality god and all glories unto you who are uh, glorified by all and whose activities are all uncommon i offer my respectful obeisances unto you o lord of the transcendent bliss controller of the three modes of nature i offer my respectful obeisances unto you again and again 
नमस्ते कृष्ण गर्वाय वेद गर्वाय वेद से विष्णुवे नमाते So now, uh, 
So if they're 18, 